In this video, I'm going to give you four steps that you can take starting today in order to land that first web design client. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. So you woke up one morning and decided to start a career in web design. And to be honest, you have no idea what to do. See, I never went to design school and I decided to become a web designer when I was 28 years old. For one reference, I'm 32 at the time of this video. And guess how many websites I created before that? Yup, zero. But from then until now, I've been able to create numerous websites for people around the world and even a recent one that was worth as much as $19,000. But you know, one of the most difficult hurdles that I've ever faced was not this recent one. It was landing that first major web design client to trust you with their project. So how do you do it? How do you land that first client when you have zero projects under your belt? Well, here are five steps that you can start on today in order to land that first web design client. But by the way, if you're just joining, my name is RR Abrat and I'm the founder and creative director at Abra Creative, a design agency focused on helping faith-based ministries and nonprofits. But on Instagram and on YouTube, I like to teach about the process and the business of web design. Pretty much how you can make websites and how you can make a living making websites. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and create some websites for free. Yep, you heard me, free. free. Now right away, some of you are thinking, what? How dare you speak to me like that? Don't you know what value I bring to an organization or a business? Look, I do believe that you bring value. But think about it. How would you expect someone to trust you with their website project if you have nothing, absolutely nothing to show them? The first website I ever created on my own was for my wife's sister's upcoming wedding. I remember I reached out to her about six months before her wedding and I, and I asked her if I could make a website for her. I was offering my services for free and then she said yes. And I was like, I was so excited. I was like, oh man, this is it. This is my first website gig. It was funny. I was doing it for free, but I felt like I landed my first major client, you know, without earning any money. And after she said, yes, can I be honest with you? I was super nervous because it was my first time. I never actually made one up my own. I know that's kind of weird, but I did it. Can I be honest with you? I'd probably never show it on my portfolio now, but guess what? That helped me land one of my first freelance gigs. And I was able to partner up with another web designer and help them with their project. Another web designer saw it and trusted me enough to create a website for his client. The second thing you need to do, my friends, is to create case studies for these projects that you just finished. Now I got two websites under my belt. I got my wife's sister's uh, wedding website, and then I've got the carpet cleaning business website. And then what I did after this is I added one more project. For one whole month, I worked super hard in creating a really good website for my church here in LA for free. And a couple of reasons why I wanted to do this was, first of all, I wanted to help out my church. I wanted to be to create a website that would bring in visitors uh, to our church and I would be attractive to other people. But secondly, you see, this was the target people that I was trying to reach. I wanted to create websites for churches and what better way would be to create a website for a church, which was my church. And this website worked effectively. Every week, visitors were coming to our church because of the website. And because of that, I was able to show this on my portfolio. I was even able to tell people, hey, this is what I was able to do for this church, my church, with this website, and I could do the same thing for them. So what I did now is now I had three websites that I created in my portfolio. So what I did is I wrote case studies for every single one of them. You see... You don't need tons of projects in your portfolio in order to land that client. Sometimes all you need is one. You know, whenever a new client calls me, most of the time they'll reach out to me and they'll mention a website that they saw in my portfolio or maybe a friend of theirs and it really attracted them. And that was the website that made them call me. You see, it doesn't take a lot. 
you know, from that one website that I did for my church for free, I would say I was probably able to create 10 other church websites because of that one. So once you've got a couple of websites under your belt and you've created case studies for them, it's time for you to make your online portfolio. you got to have a portfolio website so you can show people somewhere whenever you want to show your work. Now, a great portfolio website is actually not that difficult. There was a great phrase that I learned from someone, I believe his name was Dan Petty. And the phrase for it as to how to lay out your portfolio is really simple. Hey, what about me? So the first thing you want to put in your portfolio is just introducing yourself and what is it that you do. And it'd probably be a good thing to put a picture of yourself. People like to work with people, so they want to see a picture of you. And then the word what is talking about your work. Show your work, show what you've done, and then about, it's just a, a little bio about you. You know, make it different, make it unique, show your personality a bit. You see, in order for someone to work with someone, you've got to know you and like you and trust you. And there's a chance for you to show your personality. And then the word me is just your contact. So, hey, what about me? Introduce yourself, put your work, put a little description about yourself, and then how can people contact you? My first portfolio website was created through straight up HTML and CSS code. But there's so much platforms out there that you can use like Squarespace, Wix, or Webflow, or WordPress, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just get it out there. The fourth and last step is to tell everyone that you know. You may not think it, but you have a lot of connections. I mean, think about it. Before I started being intentional in growing my social media platforms, I think I probably had like 600 Instagram followers and 400 Twitter followers and like six or 700 Facebook friends. And by the way, that's not including all the hundreds or even thousands of phone numbers and emails that I've accumulated in my phone over all these years with the many jobs that I've had and all the friends that I've made in college and so on and so forth. Listen, the point I'm trying to make is that is a lot of people. There are a lot of people that you know. Post it on all your social media platforms. Hey guys, I am now a web designer and put a link to your portfolio. And then text people, email people that you know that, hey guys, I am now a web designer. When I decided to become a web designer, I texted every single person in my phone. And here's a sample of kind of what I texted them. It was, hey, you know, put their name. I don't know if you know, but I created websites for uh, what I did was faith-based ministries and organizations. And you can see some of the websites I made at, and I put my link, mine at that time was rrabroad.com. And then I said, do you happen to know someone that needs a website? I would totally appreciate if you could give me their info so I can give them a call. Thank you. So a couple of things that you want to notice in that layout. First of all, you want to greet someone that you know, okay? Um, I'm going to talk more about this later, but I don't like doing cold calls. Um, greet someone that you already know, you already have that connection with, so you've established rapport with with that person. I posted the link of my work so that person can uh, see the websites I've created, and they can also send that link to someone else to show them the websites that I've created. And then I said, do you happen to know someone that needs a website? Notice this. I didn't ask, do you need a website? Because what happens is when you ask someone, do you need a website? All of a sudden, they're like, oh, well, I don't really need a website. So they're just going to go ahead and tune out, and they don't want to listen. They probably don't want to read the rest of your message. So I said, do you know someone who needs a website? So what that is, it triggers to them. You see, if they need a website, they'll let you know. If they know someone that needs a website, they will let you know. And then I said this, I would totally appreciate if you can give me their info so I can give them a call. Notice I didn't say, could you tell them, could you send them my link? What you're trying to eliminate here, you're trying to eliminate any work from them. Don't give them the work and say, hey, tell someone, send someone my link like you're a boss, like, hello, this is what I did, go tell people for me. No, that is your job. And you are asking a favor from these people. So what I, I asked is I said, hey, do you know someone? If you can give me their number, I'll give them a call personally. Thank you so much. So just to recap, four steps that you can start today in order to land that first client. Number one, create some websites for free. 
Number two, create case studies from those websites. Number three, create an online portfolio. You've got to have that. And last one, tell every single person that you know. Apply these steps and hopefully you're well on your way to landing that first major web design client. Now, if you got a phone call set up and you have no idea what to say, I encourage you to click the link right uh, here. Don't worry, I'll get used to where it is, all right? Uh, but click that link. It'll show you some tips and tricks where you can, uh, just some advice where you can say during that first phone call. Well, I hope you learned something from that video. If you did, would you be someone really, really cool and click that like button? That would really help me out. Uh, click the notification, I think it's like a bell icon, and you can get notified every time we come up with a new video, which is actually probably once a week. And then click that subscribe button, smash it, hit it, whatever y'all like to do, but click that subscribe button so you can uh, uh, get the content that we come out every week about the process of web design, how you create websites, and the business part as well. I hope you enjoy these videos and I hope you learned something from them. Till next time, I will see you. Peace.